Hi, you're looking at the SWIM 5.1.007 interface. And I'm Bob Dickinson of Innovice. We're going to talk about the uh, mapping inside of SWIM 5. If you notice, there's uh, different colors and different links here. Um, so what we can do is we can go to map and we have a variety of, we could basically look at some of the input data for subcatchments and all the output data, some of the input data for nodes and some of the output data. So if we want to change this to depth, and now changes to depth and we could do an auto scale. If we wanted to do a different time of day, we move this over here and it changes color. Same thing for links. Originally it was max depth. We can also do velocity, depth, flow, etc. And we'll do um, an auto scale again and it has a different um, color. So that's one way of doing the, the mapping inside of SWIM 5. Another way is to come over here and go to um, options and we can turn that on proportional to value to value and links proportional to value. So now the links and the node sizes change a little bit depending upon what's happening in the model. So now we move this mapping along here, we have that. So you do have the restriction of only one per one one mapping per variable, but it is a nice way of looking at what's going on inside your model. Another way to see what's happening in your model is to, besides the regular graphics, is to um, basically make a table. You can either do it by variable or by object. So if I did it by object, then I could look at all the, diff all the, all the different objects here. And it shows me the uh, flow, the depth, velocity, volume, capacity. If I come over here to Tools, under Program Preferences, and I can change the dec decimal places if I wanted to. So if I wanted to change decimal places for, de for depth, I change it over here. So that's done under, under Program Preferences. So there's um, a pretty good table and um, graphical GUI for SWIM 5, and that's how you, you manipulate it using the map. Thank you for listening, and goodbye for now.